hello hello guys and hey, welcome back to gift varsity tv this is your host gift Bozekana, and today i have this uh, beautiful lady next to me uh, can you please introduce yourself um hi guys i am vanelis kosana yeah and i am a first year med student yeah. first year med student yeah. uh, where did you start like did you start with medicine this year or um, no, I didn't start with medicine. I did um, BA, first year BA at Vids, and then I applied. You in what? Um, BA, I was going to major in psychology, anthropology, yeah, and then my other majors was sociology and Sisot. Then you shifted to medicine. Then I shifted to medicine, yes. <laughs> so from Bachelor of Arts to medicine? Yes. Bachelor of Arts in Medicine. It's a, it's a story that you don't quite hear a lot, but yeah, <laughs> I did. So, so, so you did your, your Bachelor of Arts at Vets University, right? Yeah. University for, for how many years? I only did it for like one year. For one year? Yeah, which was last year. Last year, right? Yeah. Then you, you applied again to universities. Yeah, then I applied again to every university in South Africa. For medicine? For medicine. Lucky, first choice. Luckily, UCT accepted you. And it was the only one. <laughs> And it was the only university that like accepted me with, with like all my results. It was the only university that replied and accepted me. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> what? Yeah. So, so initially while you were in grade 12, did you apply for medicine? I did. Mm. To only two universities, which was Vets and UP. I don't know why I did that, to be honest. And then for my second choices, it was BA for both universities. I also don't know why I did that, but I did it. Why did you choose to study BA? I think because I wanted psychology, which I still do. Like, I really love psychology. Oh, you thought that if I, I don't get to medicine, I can be a doctor, but a doctor of psychology. Exactly. Well, I was then like, then, you, then you, you did a, a Bachelor <laughs> of Arts. All right. So, now, uh, someone is currently asking, which, okay, this girl was doing first year at Vets University. And now it's currently doing like did they require your, your university marks when you're applying? Did they require the psychology and sociology and these <laughs> anthropology <laughs> marks? Yeah. yeah, they actually required everything because I applied as like a university applicant. Mm -hmm. So I do not do you know, people would like would like told me tell me to like apply as I am done from grade twelve. Yeah. But then no, I applied using everything. So I applied with my grade twelve and also applied with my um my BA then you, you applied for medicine you tried other universities as well yeah i did try other universities as well but then the reason why other universities did not take me was that vids 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 was supposed to give me my transcript and it did not give it to me on time yeah. and other universities were like girl we're not we're not gonna take progress reports we need a, a transcript so I just sent it to UCT. I wasn't even thinking that UCT would take me because I just sent it. I was like, ah, oh, that's fine. I'll just send it everywhere. And then if I fail, I just fail. It's fine. I would have tried. And then, okay, November, conditional acceptance, hypo, jump scare. And then that's when I actually knew, it's, okay, maybe I might go to UCT. Maybe. And I'm here now, so. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, that's very interesting. That's interesting. How many decisions did you get from high school? I got four. Yeah, it was four distinctions. When you are lucky. <laughs> no, this is a lucky. You know, this, this is a calling for her. She got four distinction. She started with a Bachelor of Arts at Vets University. After a year, she applied for, for medicine at UCT. She got accepted. Now she is a medical student. If medicine is your passion, don't give up on it, guys. Don't give up on it. So you are you're, you're accepted by UCT now. How did you feel when you see that acceptance letter? Yo, it was... I was speechless, to be honest, because <laughs> UCT Moose had closed, like, it's... What is it? Um, the tab where you check your, your status, right? For that whole week, it was closed. So I was really anxious. Good did I get accepted or not? Because remember, this um, thing had released my transcript late. So I thought that maybe they would, like, reject me because... Um, they did not get my transcript on time and things like that. So when I got it, I was yo, I was so speechless. I was like, you know what? God's timing. 
God's timing is just perfect. And yeah, I, I, I still can't believe it because there are times where I just like sit down and I'm like, oh, yeah, ne? You're the chosen one. Yeah. <laughs> because there are yeah. people with seven distinctions yeah. and they got rejected for medicine. They try to apply after first year, but even, oh no, they even complete degrees, right? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, a re it's a really great gift. Like, uh, what advice can you give to someone who's currently watching us? You know, many students, uh, is their dream to become doctors, right? So what can you say to them? Okay, I just want to say this because I really wish someone had told me this last year. But then people are going, are going to try their best to project their fears, their, their, um, their fears, their own stories on your life. And I just wanted to know, would say each and every person has their own unique story. Or would say I fail at some point doesn't mean you will fail you know and you just have to go for what you want man just go for it like what if you try what if just send that just just send that application they don't know you so you won't be embarrassed or anything send it out you never know what might happen if ever i stopped i wouldn't be here if ever i just thought oh you said you wouldn't take me with my ba degree as people had suggested i wouldn't be here but i'm here now so this is this is your sign applications are open apply and work hard go after your dream if if it is yours you will get it Oh, I'm emotional, guys. <laughs> yeah, I'm very emotional. Yes, okay. Yeah, indeed, like, guys, you must reach out, try, and, you know, get there, you know. How's medicine currently? Well, why do you love medicine, if I may ask you? Man, I love medicine because... Because what? Because it's... Okay, I'm not going to say it's my... Yeah, it's my passion, but it sounds so cliche, um, cliche but I've always wanted to do medicine because there were times where like I really wished I could help um, with my mother's house you know and then I felt like I just can't so I want to be there for people and I want to help people medically you know so I just want medicine because I just want to offer my help out there to the world and I believe that I can do it so yeah that's one of the reasons yeah. oh wow thank you so much for being on this channel uh, all the best with your career journey as uh, our our future doctor Guys, this channel is a great channel. You, you must subscribe right now. Like this video. Like this video. Share with your friends. Share with your friends. It's possible. Yeah. Don't give up. Don't give up on your dream. I'm a demon. <laughs> <laughs>